Oh, we're cooking up some gumbo this morning. I know, it's a little chill in the air. This would be absolutely perfect. It smells great in here. Good morning to Jason West from Sundown at the Granada on uh, Lower Greenville Avenue in Dallas. What, what, what is the aura, the aroma that I'm getting in here? Is it, it's not just your cologne. <laughs> well, I am Cajun, so it might be. Oh. Uh, so tonight, we're, or this morning, sorry, I'm not used to mornings. But, uh, <laughs> we aren't either. We are, Chef. Uh, you know. So this morning, we're going to make a chicken and andouille sausage gumbo. Okay. The big thing about this being a little bit different and that I get a little bit from back home from New Orleans is it's gluten free. So oh. instead of using a regular flour, we're going to use a rice flour. So okay. Being that gluten uh, and celiacs is a big uh, sure. allergy nowadays. So, so what's we're cooking up right now? You got the roux going, right? So we got a roux going here. Okay. Right here. I'm just starting it as a blonde roux. Um, I'm going to make it a dark roux because I've already started it, so we don't have to wait a long time. Okay. So I'm just going to cheat a little bit through TV. Yeah, we like that. That's no worries. This is really, <laughs> really simple if you've never made a roux. So, gonna, yeah. so I'm going to talk you through the roux. So a roux, all a roux is is any fat and then flour. Mm -hmm. And this, since we're using rice flour, Okay. Instead of using just the regular all-purpose flour on that. Right. So it tastes the same. I tried it as an experiment, being that at sundown, we do a lot of things that are gluten-free, a lot of vegetarian, vegan items. So I wanted to try it over there okay. and see if it worked or if it, see if it changed the flavor. And it didn't. So I was really happy with that. Um, All right. What you know, are you putting so in there? Try, so in here, Extra we have, I have uh, my onion, my celery, my bell pepper, and New Orleans, we call it the oh, Trinity. Right. A little garlic in there mixed up. Mm -hmm. Like I said, we'd start everything in New Orleans with that as a mix. So I just got that nice diced up. Um, if you would ask my grandma, in New Orleans we don't call my grandma grandma, we call her nani, which is Cajun French for grandma. Okay. So if you ask my nani how much onion, celery, and bell pepper, she would tell you, I don't know, however much you got. <laughs> Whatever, so, whatever's there. Whatever you whatever got. If good. you got one bell pepper, add one bell pepper. Right. If you got two, add two. That's just how she cooked. So you cook that up, basically let all that kind of come together. So yeah, so you're going to let that cook down really nicely and let that saute down. Yeah. And then next, I'm going to take, yeah. I'm going to add my sausage. This is fresh andouille sausage we buy for the restaurant. We have it made for the restaurant fresh. Nice. Um, again, the restaurant. Okay, we perfect. Try to do that. So we saute that down in there. Okay. We're going to add a little bit of Cajun seasoning first. Uh, being the, you know, that I'm a Cajun, whatever brand you like to prefer. Mm -hmm. I'm not okay. real big on any brands. We grow fresh bay leaf at the restaurant, so I just went out in the back and I put some bay leaves. Nice. I'm going to put that in there. Easy. A little bit of salt on there. And what's the last thing you're putting in here? And then, so we saute that up About a little bit. About 30 seconds left. Heard that. We're going to get this done. <laughs> Don't worry. Russia. Don't worry. We're going to get this done. The nice thing about gumbo is it's the longest thing to do for it is cooking that roux to get it a really nice yep. dark color. So once you get that roux a dark color, you add all your vegetables and your seasonings. You can add your stock. This is chicken stock we make in the restaurant. So we're just going to add all of that to it. And then how long does that cook up? And it just cooks down until it gets nice and thick right. on there. All right, you guys are you serving. you got to add the chicken in, and you are done, basically, Yeah, right? so we're just going to add. I took the chicken, I cooked it in the stock, and just going to shred it. So we all add right. that in there. And you that's guys it. have your new winter menu we want to mention. We'll put this recipe and a link to Sundown at Granada on our website, fox4news.com. We're going to dish this up Thank and you. be right back.